Go watch the Draymond Green show. I said Stephen A sometimes act like the new media. Sometimes he doesn't. That's on you, but, you know, uh, nonetheless, don't just lump me in with media, baby. It's the new media. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Go ahead, Molly. Go ahead. What's up? No, I just want to know what what's your reaction? That you're well, you're well, sometimes Stephen, you're sometimes the new media and sometimes I guess regular media. He, here's the deal. Okay. Here's the deal. Draymond Green is right. Mm -hmm. He's just he he's just incomplete. He's absolutely right with what he says. And let me say, first of all, I encourage everybody to go and listen to the Draymond Green show. He has a lot to say. He's a highly intelligent brother, very opinionated, very outspoken, um, as honest as they come. And I got a lot of love for that brother. He knows it. And anytime he needs my help for anything, he knows my number and he knows I'm just a phone call away. And to be quite honest with you, uh, that applies to any professional athlete, to be quite honest with you, because I think they do far more for us than we ever appreciated. There's a couple, and I'm, when I say a couple, I mean only two, maybe really one individual in professional sports who I absolutely despise. I can't stand his ass, but I'll never tell you who he is. And even if he called me, I would help him too. So because I believe that these athletes deserve all the support that they can get from people in the quote unquote old media, as they say. Now, obviously when I talk about somebody I despise, it is not Draymond Green. I love this brother, that's my dog. He knows that. Uh, and, and, and he got me the other day, or, or a couple of weeks ago, when he said that I'm a part of the new media too. Because he was pointing out the fact that there is this reluctance to give cats their flowers when they deserve it. And he knows that I'm not that guy. I'll give you your flowers if you deserve it. But when I don't give flowers, the problem is I sound like the quote unquote old media. I don't call it old media. You know what I call it? Being real and being accountable, which is why the new breed of wannabe journalist or whatever you want to call yourselves have no chance in hell of ever replacing us because the level of objectivity that people like myself bring to the table is, is, is not something that we have to concern ourselves about when it comes to the modern day athlete. It is a struggle and rightfully so to talk about your own contemporaries in a very, very critical way. And we don't have that problem because they're not our contemporaries. We're talking about the athletes. Guess what? We would have that problem, at least some of us anyway, if it came to talking about people in the media. Like, for example, I don't talk about my colleagues. I don't do that. OK, I talk about me and what I bring to the table. I'm not going to excoriate my colleagues unless they try to get personal and I got to correct them for the record. But outside of that, I'm not going to sit up there and build myself up or for knocking them down, I'm gonna ascend. I'm gonna elevate on my own merits, and I'll leave it at that. When you're an athlete, it is a challenge to do that, and more importantly, it's a challenge to take that and absorb that. I have no doubt that Draymond Green was not fond of my words about how he looked in games three and four of these NBA final series. Well, guess what? I wasn't fond about saying it. I wasn't happy about it. I root for Draymond Green. I want him to be successful. I want him to go out there and ball out. I want him to be one of the elite defensive players this game has ever seen to showcase his veracity, his tenacity, his defensive prowess, and to be relevant offensively. And when he wasn't that way in games three and four, I had to call it like I see it. It doesn't mean I was happy about it. It doesn't mean I was rooting for it to happen. But it does mean that I have to call it like I see it. Sometimes people believe that's old media, that's hating, that's refraining from giving cats their flowers. Actually, no, it's calling it like it is. Let's extend this conversation a little bit more. C.J. McCullum, he gets on first take and, you know, he goes off and he challenges me and we get into a heated debate. And so all of a sudden it's percolating all over social media. Stephen A. and C.J. Stephen A. and C.J. have been cool for years. I've been a guest on his podcast. If he ever needed my help, he knows I'm just a phone call away. We had a disagreement. J.J. Reddick, same thing. We had a disagreement. So what? That's what it is. Patrick Beverly comes on the show, and he's getting at me about something. And his, I thought his comments about CP3 were ignorant. I thought he was lost, and it, it was a bad look. But it doesn't negate from the other good things that he did. And so what I'm trying to say is that, guess what? Would they be on first take if I didn't want them on first take? Would they, uh, excuse me, I want them to disagree with me. I want us to have 
I want us to have friction as it pertains to a particular argument. It doesn't negate how I feel about them, how much I value them. It doesn't negate the fact that there's a whole bunch of athletes out here that if they need my help, I'm a phone call away. They can snap their fingers, yo, Stephen A., I need you, I'm there. That's what it's about. But just because we disagree, it's no big deal. The difference is, is that you have a lot of players. Yeah. When they talk about new media versus old media, they get on you for doing, to, for calling them out. And here's my, my warning to all of them. I'm watching. Let's see what you do once your playing career is over and you're sitting in these seats permanently. And yeah. you got to call it like you see it. Ask all the former athletes who come on ESPN and other networks, how many of them have come up to me, Stephen A? I didn't know, man. I mean, damn. These dudes, you can't say nothing. They so damn sensitive, yeah. blah, blah, blah. That's what, that's what they're talking about. But Draymond ain't one of those dudes. He's a good dude, good people. He's doing a hell of a job. He's going to be a star in this business one day. He He's my brother. I'm rooting for him. Let him get on me a little for bit. Sure. It's all in fun. It's all good. That's Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.